So, um, we need to uh, animate the roll, and that's actually the last thing we need to do. Now, in order to roll, um, this tire it has to roll along its central pivot. So I can't do it with this one because that's on one side of the tire. I got the stretch and the roll, and let's see what we're going to do now. Um, first of all, let's uh, move this thing when it hits the floor and bounces for the last time. So that is at 34. It's still squashed, but that's all right. This is the uh, point where it actually starts, so that's a good point. It's rolling over the Z axis. So let's give it a keyframe here and let's roll it along until it gets to, I don't know, uh, let's see, three seconds. Yeah, roughly, let's round it off to a thousand. All right, and we'll give this a keyframe two. Now, um, of course, um, we need to roll it as well. So roll it around. So I'm going back to 34 and I'm going to hit the keyframe button next to the P because I know this is the pitch roll. And at the end of it, it needs to roll around a couple of times. Now, let's see, it doesn't roll like this. It rolls reverse. So it has to be a minus. Now, simple trick, all these little holes here in cinema with values in them are actually mini calculators. So let's do minus five times, which is a star with the uh, underneath the eight, eight key with the shift and 360. 360 degrees is one rotation, one revolution, so that should do it. And it automatically calculates what it is, what it should be, and it's minus 1800. Now, let's see. It actually, it's finishing with a little bit of a slowdown here, which is good but it should actually not speed up when it falls down. So I'm gonna adjust that, and that's the final part of the animation. And we've got the stretch and roll here, the position and the rotation over the P. Now this looks a bit confusing, but don't worry about it. We're going to go to the F curves menu and we're going to click on this one and click on the position and push H. And here we see it slowly speed up and here rolling out. This is fine, but the speeding up part is not good. So uh, I actually want to focus on the position first. And I'm just going to take this tangent handle and just move it up so that it's basically along the line of the spline. This is a nice slow out. Now remember this, I'm matching it up with the curve itself because now I'm going to go to the rotation. I'm doing exactly the same like this. Right. Now, let's see what we got. It's a short animation, three seconds long. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Now, the only thing we don't know if this is actually the uh, five resolutions that I've given it. Uh, it might be longer or shorter, but uh, for the animation, it's really not that important. So, this is what we got. Now, onwards and upwards we're going to render this uh, with uh, a bunch of lights on it and maybe a little bit of texturing we'll do that uh, we'll do that in the last part 
So stay tuned. <laughs>